So we've got zero friction cycling. All right. This is discussions come up a fair bit recently uh, since he's tried to defame me after I disagreed and pointed out the technical issues with his data on his website, zero friction cycling. Now, I honestly don't have any hate towards that or anything like that. This is just purely uh, frustration and disappointment in his behavior, which I find, I wouldn't imply, in my opinion, call it sociopathic. Let's go over here, that's traffic noise. Um, and I hope he gets the help he needs. He's obviously in a, a bad place in his life that, you know, claiming to be Mr. Professional, Mr. Data, in, Mr. Independent, you can trust me, I'm a nice guy. As soon as like someone like me comes around who's a high profile YouTuber with hundreds of millions of views and says, look, Adam, um, well, one, I, I got you into cycling. I got you into Strava and power meters back in the day when you had an injury from running. Adam lives local to me. Uh, so I helped him out, as I do, you know, that's just what I love doing, helping people get into cycling and the good, the good life. Uh, but yeah, he comes with Mr. Nice Guy. And then when I said I don't agree with his data, and I think him charging $20 for a piece of wire, that's called a chain swisher, is taking the piss. And I also said that uh, $200 for a Durace chain dipped in wax in your own backyard with food grade power from wax with some special magic powder is taking the piss. And so instead of like, you know, debating me, respectfully and maturely and professionally, he just went out on a 25 minute tangent of why I'm the, you know, quote unquote, worst person on the internet. <laughs> he made up all these defamatory, slanderous accusations, etc. I hope this wind's not too bad. It's blown up Wesley today. But, uh, I'm able to stop here for the, for the wind effect. You know, but it's, it's crazy. But anyway, is, it a, is he running a scam? I don't think so. It would be a scam if you paid him money and he didn't send you out your wax chain, all right? He, he buys his chains, he dips them in wax at home, the paraffin food grade wax, or the special magic wax, and then posts it out to you. If you get your chain, it's not a scam, all right? Do I think it's a piss take? Yeah. Is what, I mean, what, <laughs> what, Adam, where's the, why would I spend 200, why would I give you $200 for a Shimano Durace 11 speed chain? How much faster is gonna make me go? Like, I smoke you on the bike. Like, you, you've, you've tried to get some of my Strava segments, and you got one of them for a few days, and I took it back. Um, you know? But you're not even fast, bro. Like, if your chains are so good, how come I flog you in every segment that requires fitness and even technical skills as well? I mean, you have a TT bike, a 20,000... So <laughs> me and Adam should do a race up Green Hill Road or anywhere. Uh, you bring your twenty thousand dollar TT bike that has disc brakes. I mean, Adam, you know, and I think it's great that you know people have the options these days. If you don't have much confidence on your bike, you know, disc brakes on your road bike and your TT bike. If you need disc brakes on a TT bike, that's fine. I don't. Okay, I have skills. Adam needs disc brakes on his TT bike. That's nothing wrong with that. It's all you had to have fun. Twenty thousand bucks. Anyway, um, that goes to show what it's about. <laughs> anyway, so. You know, like, let's do a race, Adam. Come and race me, bro. All right, I'll bring my squirt chain or my power for food grade wax and my badger wax, whatever. Fuck, I'll use trifle even. And you bring your, your $200 magic chain. I'll still beat you, bro. I'll still beat you on the bike. You know what I mean? <laughs> You'll still lose. Like, come on, man. It's like, why are we spending $200 on a chain? Okay? Why are we spending... <laughs> Adam, answer that. Why do I need to spend 200 bucks on your chain? <laughs> what advantages does it give me? How long does it last? 100, 200 Ks? It's just a piss take. But that's what, you know, that's what those people are like. And when you bring that up, instead of going, okay, blah, 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 they just go, boom, ad hominem attack, slander, defamation, nonsense, craziness. So it's, and then that's just, that's just part of the, 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 the social media world. If you don't like someone, you just make up some bullshit and can't try and get them canceled. Um, but anyway, so if you're into serious data, do not trust Adam's website until, and this is my opinion, uh, this is why I don't trust it, until he apologizes for his slander defamation, says actually, I made some big claims, I've got zero fucking proof, um, so I'll take that back, sorry Mr. Johnson, sorry Hals, I'm a forgiving press, no, I don't like the whole project, it's a waste of time. I don't trust Adam's data because he's the only one doing it, like who's overseeing his data? And Adam admits he's super tired, super fatigued, super busy, he's just, and his website is full of mistakes. So it's only human to expect him to be making mistakes. And his data, data, backyard data, it doesn't correlate with my backyard data, right? 
right? And thousands of other people who use squirt lube that I've talked to over the last 10 years using it, Adam claims that wears out your chains really quick. Is that, is that correct, Adam? You claim that? Well, in my experience, I get about 15,000 Ks out of squirt lube on a road bike. So, you know what I mean? And other people as well have similar experience. So, but you, is it, did you falsely put in the wrong data because squirt is very competitive to the other brands and it's very cheap and easy to get to local bike shop so maybe it'll cut you out of the, the market i don't know i'm just asking the question i'm saying you're doing that or did your data happen to be about because you were so tired you did a typo or whatever like your website's full of those things as well just saying anyway adam if you could answer the questions professionally bro you'd get the respect you're trying to get otherwise you could just look like a a Karen, Adam Karen Kieran, on your $20,000 disc brake TT bike, and then still getting dropped by a banana boy. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's like schoolyard stuff, isn't it? I guess we're all big kids at the end of the day. <laughs> Boys and their toys. But if you want to spend 200 bucks on a wax Shimano Shane, the Shimano Shane, Shimano Chain, then you do that. It's your money, it's your life, do what you want. Uh, I've got better things to spend money on. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's what a crazy world. First world problems. And just to wrap it up, I hope the wind wasn't too loud there. I do believe in chain waxing. I've been using chain wax products since about 2005. I think it was Pedro's did like an ice wax something back in the day. And now it's just gotten better with squirt lube and you can use paraffin, food grade wax, candles, etc. And maybe if you want to, PTFE, etc. So you don't have to spend the crazy money that guys like Adam, Karen, Kieran are trying to get you to spend. All right. Just check out his YouTube channel called Oz Cycle, and he gives the the, the high performance, no frills, uh, affordable. That's what we're talking about: affordable, sustainable option here. Oz Cycle, I would say his waxing videos are the most easy to understand, easy to incorporate. Least faff. But if that's still too much faff for you, just use Squirt Lube. Okay, Squirt Lube gives you. I've used chain waxing. Uh, immersive, immersive, <laughs> and uh, squirt loop. And I'm going to say that the, the main difference I prefer with hot waxing, chain waxing, is the, the you know, full cleanliness style. But I rarely do it because squirt loop's just so fucking easy to use. All right, squirt loop, clean. You give your chain a good clean once. You don't need ultrasonic clean. That's just marketing bullshit. I mean, are we? Is that chain going to get sepsis? Is that chain going to get a bacterial infection? Like, come on. It's a freaking bicycle chain, all right? Clean it some mineral terps, then they do some methylated spirits after that, boom, you're good to go. Shell light, petrol, whatever you want, all right? You know, give it a big wipe down the rag, five minutes job, okay? These people are Adam, in my opinion, are just hyping up this, oh, you've got to shake it 20 times, and you've got to blah, 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 blah. It's just this OCD, only retentive bullshit. So people go, oh, I can't do that. I'll just send you my chain, I'll pay you to do it for me, Adam. And that's how he's making the coin. That's just my opinion. Uh, it, it, I mean, I clean chains all the time, okay? It does, it's a fucking simple job, you can do it yourself. And you don't get to take your chain off your bike if you don't want it, because a lot of people don't want to faff around like that. Anyway, I'm a huge fan of making things easy for people, okay? Squirt loop, squirt loop, all right? Clean your chain once, squirt loop, you're good to go, okay? Squirt loop, if in doubt, just squirt it, baby. And talk, talk to the people who have used squirt loop, like myself, for over a decade or wherever, five years, whatever, they use it extensively, okay? Don't listen to people in the industry who have, in my opinion, a bias against squirt lube, okay? Because just follow that money. I'm not sponsored by, or I don't sell any of these lubes or whatever, okay? I've got no dog in the race, <laughs> okay? This is just me, being me, Mr. Helpful when it comes to cycling. I love getting bums on bikes, and I really find it increasingly frustrating these money-chasing, fucking excessively materially, excessively narcissistic douchebags in the bike industry trying to really complicate shit. The bicycle should simplify your life. Chuck your helmet on, chuck on some gloves, jump on your bike and go for a ride, mate, all right? This fat shit is just insane, okay? This, uh, all their, their little nitty-gritty, just nonsense stuff is what really deters people from cycling. It's really excessive and corrosive and uh, totally unnecessary.